Welcome to the Las Vegas market. I want to welcome all of our national and international viewers on the webcast. I'm Bob Mirosic, uh, Chief Executive Officer of International Market Centers. I am delighted to have our distinguished panel, Tony, Jeffrey, Nathan, here today to look ahead of the curve. They've had an unbelievable challenge in shopping just in a couple days, 5.1 million square feet, looking to actually edit down to some of the most exciting things for you. And Susanna Sock, we're delighted to have her back. She's been at many of these for us, herself very much a tastemaker, a host on the Today Show, an author, and a very, very good friend. I'll get out of the way and turn it over to the real talent here. Susanna? Thank you, Bob. Thank you all so much. And thank you to Las Vegas Market for having us. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with, with what we do here, this is one of my favorite things all year, which is we invite some of our favorite designers and tastemakers in the world, really, to sort of shop, to look at the market before you guys get here and just be excited by everything that we see and uh, then get to not only show you visually some of the trends that we captured, but also to chat about it, to have a dialogue, which I think is so important in this day and age to be all together present, whether you're on our webcast internationally or here in the studio. We are going to um, have the pleasure of basically, as you know, we shopped, shopped. They pulled out pieces that spoke to them and that they felt were sort of the figurehead of a trend. And we're gonna look at each of the videos and then chat about what you saw. So let me just say that we're gonna do Tony's items first. He saw a lot of black and white, which he's calling the ultimate neutral. So we wanna talk about that. Chrome in the home and retro redefined. So let's see some of the pieces that speak to those trends. Here we go, to the videotape. As I made my way around the market yesterday, I focused on a lot of black and white accessories. Uh, lamps, clocks, vases, done in black and white in all different patterns. They punctuate a room. Billy Baldwin once said that every room needs black. I say that every room needs a little black and white. There's so many clever ways that we can bring black and white into a room. It makes color pop. I love the scale and the shape of this lamp, and I love the black and white stripe pattern. It'll give a lot of punch to a room. One of the great ways to give an instant uplift to a room is through its throw pillows, and we found these great black and white pillows here at the market. What I love about these pillows is that not only can you use a single pair, but you can mix and match these pillows for a real fresh look. These clocks fit into two of my themes. They're black and white and they're retro. And um, I think they are so graphic in any interior. They're very special looking and uh, they have a real sense of quality to them. What I like to do with big clocks like this is incorporate them into the architecture of some of our kitchens. They really, really make a great statement. One thing I was really excited about in the market was the use of chrome. A lot of pieces have a kind of retro feel to them, but they're freshened up, new upholstery, shiny, shiny chrome. Um, it's a perfect accent into either a modern space or a traditional space. The chair itself is reminiscent of a designer, an American designer by the name of Milo Bauman. It's a much more comfortable interpretation of that style of chair. I love these tables because they've taken classic forms and revitalized them. We have Victorian tables, Chinese tables, and even this 21st century amorphic kind of style table. A little accent table in your living room goes a long way. It actually acts like a mirror. It sort of reflects the rest of the room in the chrome. We're here at Global Views. The instant I came into the showroom, I was totally drawn to this light fixture that I think is so fantastic. I came in and I said, wow, I would love to do 
a big restaurant with 50 of these fixtures. They're so chic looking. It, it's just a lovely interpretation of a classic 60s fixture, but in this shiny chrome finish. One of the trends I noticed as I was walking around the showrooms is this kind of reinvention of retro forms. Uh, what I like about this is that it takes old classic forms, be it from the 50s or 60s, and redoes them in natural materials like this beautiful wood sunburst mirror. Um, normally this would have been done in gilt or white plaster or something like that, and it's done in wood and it's so appropriate in so many different t interiors today. This is a reproduction of a 40s style French sideboard, but what I love about it is that it's done in this light limed oak finish and it brings a whole new life to this style. It's perfect for a dining room where you wanna pull in a finish other than like the traditional dark wood finish. Check out this great bookcase at Arteriors. What I love about this piece is that they took a classic design from the 1950s and reimagined it in this incredible red limed finish. It's called Cherusing and you usually see it in either black or natural, but it's done in this red finish and I think it's the greatest. Let's talk about it. Okay, black and white was the first thing. Now, I love black and white for fashion. I wear it all the time. Mm -hmm. I have no qualms about pairing that together. But somehow with the home, it feels sort of scary. But the way you, the things that you picked and the way you talked about it and the Billy Baldwin quote I loved about everything should have some black, that's sort of exciting to see. I haven't seen that at market before, the black and white together. You know, um, a long time ago, I, for myself, I did an apartment in Miami and um, it was turquoise and pink. And turquoise and pink kind of has this, m m you might call a feminine feel like a really pretty turquoise. So I wanted to give the place a lot of style, so I brought in a lot of black and white accessories. And it, and it felt much, much more like me. Trick. And I, now I do that in a lot of work. It's a, um, it, when I said it's a neutral, it actually looks really good with all different kind of decorating, all different color schemes. I mean, it, lo it looks good with really beautiful jewel tone colors. But in my apartment in New York now, um, there, it's camel, it's beige and gray and black and white. Mm -hmm. And so I, I find that it, I, I found that there's a direction here at the market that's exploring that. And so I think it's something that can, uh, can add to an interior. Right, so you could add it to an interior that has pre-existing bright color and it easily, kind of easily add it to an existing yeah. interior. You know, even as I said, the pillows, change the pillows. Yep. It's, it, it's an easy, quick fix for, for a room and, and it just has a, like a lot of snappy kind of feel to it. And we always think, oh, color. Color is what we, you know, of course black and white is a color, mm -hmm. but we always think pink or green or blue, but black and white could hold its own as its own sort of color combination. Do you guys use it at all or does this make you sort of think well, I like what, hearing what you were saying about the turquoise and the pink, and then going to the camel tones, and I could vi seriously visualize it in my head mm -hmm. and think, oh, he's right. It literally could move from so many different palettes. Well, and I think it anchors it. So the black and white just all of a sudden brings that masculinity into the room that otherwise may be feminine. And yet it's so glamorous. Yeah, yeah it's super very glamorous. Not only does it anchor it, which it really does, but it punctuates it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and, and it defines it in a certain way. I, 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 it's really a lovely w way to pick up a room.